What's up YouTube and Amazon? Jefferson here with Sumi Gang Productions. And this is Zumi's 3-in-1 phone lens. My first initial impression of this kit was how impressive the actual lenses look. Come on, take a look at this one. This is the fisheye lens which widens the view by 0.42 times and since this has a 37mm thread, you're able to install lens filters on these. This even comes with a mini lens cap to protect the lenses. The way you install these lenses on your smartphone is by using this adapter. Simply remove the protective cap from the lens, screw it into the adapter, and clip it into your phone lens. You might need to adjust it to get it to fit properly, but once you do, you'll see the difference. This is how the fisheye lens looks like. <music> If you're unaware on how the fisheye lens work, it has a barrel distortion that some people really like but I personally am not a fan especially considering this fisheye effect shows the actual lens on the frame. For these lens adapter, they require a macro lens to be attached along with either the fisheye or the wide angle lens. If you want to use the macro lens, simply unscrew the fisheye and that's it. Here's how the macro lens looks like. You're able to get really close to your subject using the macro lens. Obviously that's the purpose of these macro lens, but it's really cool on how much detail is being retained. If you're not a fan of this fisheye lens like myself, this kit also comes with a wide angle lens. This doesn't look like a lens, it looks more like an adapter, but I personally prefer this just because it fits my style a lot more. The installation works the same on this lens. At first you won't see much, but when you remove the lens, that's when you'll see how much wider this lens gives it. This is almost half the size of the fisheye lens and it's lighter. This wide angle lens does have a slight barrel distortion. If you're unfamiliar with that term, it essentially means you'll see a curve instead of seeing a straight line. It's not that bad but it just depends on how far or close the subject is. To use the macro lens, simply unscrew the wide angle lens and you're ready to get super close shots. I'm not too sure what the difference is between the two macro lenses. I tried comparing them but I really didn't notice a difference. Both lenses have an amazing build quality. It's constructed out of aluminium. It feels really good on the hand and considering the size, it has a good amount of weight to it. This is pretty much compatible with all smartphones but I recommend checking out Amazon's page just in case. That's pretty much it when it comes to these lenses. I'm using the fish eye right now if you guys are curious on how it pretty much looks when there's a person in front of it. If you guys have any questions or comment, be sure to leave them in the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. If you guys like this video or if you just found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel. Right now I'm using the wide angle lens now. I just switched it over. Like always ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. There's also a blue indicator on the stand itself that lets you know that there's power being drawn. So once everything is plugged in and you see that LED light lit,